Alana Rubin from eQuilter.com, and I'm here at the 2013 Quilt Festival in Birmingham, UK. I'd like to take you on a tour of some of my favorite art quilts at this show. Let's go have a look. The topic of this triptych is the elements. Fire, earth, and water make up these three panels, but they are connected by transparent white panels with stipple wave-like stitching. What's interesting about this raw edge applique piece, besides the fact that it has such a huge visual impact, is that uh, the artist has worked in some white plush to represent the froth and waves on the water piece on the right. This fabulous piece by Janneke is one of my favorites here. Of course, I am partial to her work. She finally won in Houston last year, and she's been winning big prizes for a few years, and we expect to see even more great things from her in the future. Here's another three-dimensional piece by Brigitte Schuller, and it really gives you a sense of depth and space, plus there are tons of hotfix crystals sparkling in the firmament of space. This eye-catching piece by Philippa Naylor really has a three-dimensional quality. It really jumps out at you as you walk past it on the wall. This piece by Kirsty is very interesting because initially you think, oh, it's a child with a rainbow-colored umbrella, but as you look closer, you see all this dense texture and interesting text. Really a fascinating combination of light and bright and dark and very complex. I love seeing what Liz Jones has come up with every year. She won big at Houston a few years ago, and she confided in me that many or most of her fabrics were purchased at eQuilter. I can see a striped hand eye here that I bet she got from eQuilter. And this is one of those pieces that is very intricate, but also very lovely, and you just can't help but smile when you look at it. It's gorgeous. This is Anne's Tumbling Birds applique piece, and it has a definite Asian feel to it, don't you think? I love the swooping lines of her design. This contemporary piece by Nina, Whatever You Say I Am, is full of text and words, but actually there's more that it says beyond the text and the words, with the suggestion of shape and form and texture. This eye-catching piece by Lou Keynes is on the main wall, and it's attracted a lot of attention, and you can see why. This quilt is called Fibonacci Fandango, say that ten times fast. And if you look closely, all of these, it's got to be over a thousand tiny little hexagon pieces. It's just mind-boggling what this quilter did to create this piece. Lisbeth's quilt, Circles and Squares, is an exercise in color and design. What most people at the show may not know is that she used fabrics that were designed by Keiko Goke. Keiko is a friend of mine who lives in Japan, and she lives in the town of Sendai that was wiped out by the tsunami a couple years ago. We sent about 2,500 quilts donated by our customers to one of the coastal villages in that area after the tsunami. So I want to say thank you again to all of you who donated quilts to that effort. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Birmingham Festival of Quilts. This is the end of part two, and if you missed part one, make sure you go back and pick that up. We'll look forward to coming to the show again next time. Hope you had fun. Bye-bye.